made a bunch of offers and your offer still hasn't got accepted. So should you remove all your contingencies on the next offer? Hi, this is Gantry Wilson. And sometimes I get asked, hey, to make my offer more competitive, should I remove all my contingencies with our offer? You know, in Northern California, that's more the norm than, than you see down here in Southern California. People remove their contingencies as they make the offer. In Southern California, we don't do that. And honestly, I don't think it's the best thing to do. And let me tell you why. In today's market, there's still things. You're still gonna wanna know if the roof leaks, you're gonna wanna know if there's an issue with the chimney. You're gonna wanna know some of the big issues and you're gonna wanna find them out. Now, whether you're gonna ask for those in repairs or not, that's gonna be a, a con something you have to decide on. But more importantly, you wanna know about them so you can budget them into what do you think the house is worth. So consequently, I do not recommend removing your contingencies before your offer is accepted. What I do recommend though, is making a very short inspection contingency period. Make it seven days, make it five days. All that means is you've gotta get your inspector in there quickly, find out what's wrong with the house, and then move forward with the, uh, with the escrow. You know, I've got lots of recommendations for ways to make your offer and get your offer accepted other than removing all your contingencies when you submit your offer. And if you're looking for those strategic ways to get that offer accepted, please reach out to me and my team and we'll be happy to show you what we do.